<laughs> the greatest, the best, the freshest, the nicest baby boy led to GV live on TV. When they tried to hate on him, he was like, uh huh, uh, uh huh, uh. <laughs> What's happening, baby? It's your boy, baby boy, let to GV, aka the Bulawayo Ambassador, aka Maluma TV. Maluma doing things, Maluma doing things appropriately. And best, baby, yourself, we're in the building, baby, and you're still doing things appropriately and best. If there's anyone you know who's not doing things appropriately and best, baby, please bring him to the Maluma. I need to have a talk with him because we need things to be appropriately and best on a regular nam say. I mean, today, bro, we're letting it rip. Today, we're letting it, the, the, the cat out the bag. Today, we, 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 we're addressing the elephant in the room. Today, bro, I mean, we, we, we're blacking the tooth out the tiger. Today, bro, we're doing everything to the animals. Now, I mean, because that boy led to chief is in the cut and he's here to address a few uh, issues that I've, 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 I've observed. I mean, this is my just my uh, opinion and my observation. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be your truth. You don't have to fight me about it. This is just my two cents. It's up to you. If you want to take it, if you if you if you don't want take it, I, I I don't want to start no smoke. I appreciate each and everybody of you who's been subscribing. Show me love, leaving a like, leaving a comment. This is not war. I'm not raging war. I'm just coming through with the facts, with the observation and the opinions. It doesn't necessarily have to be um your facts. Uh, your truth are we out here and today it's a special edition baby and you know how we go with a special edition it's the fourth special edition after the i did the special edition on um on 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 costed teach aka and rick rick i did the special edition on on a race special edition on nasty c and now we're doing a special edition on on locust traps so if you haven't seen the past three please Type on the search bar and check it out. Now I'm saying, and show me some love there. Right now we're doing it on Lucas Raps, and we wanna know what really happened to Lucas Raps, the most promising young rapper that was coming after the class of the A races, the nasty seas. And I'm saying he was coming through crazy, bro. Like the leader of the the newest school, because the new school we have, we'll be talking about the A races and the nasty seas. But the newest school is the class of our Lucas Raps. Blackie, Lost in Over Pounds, The Gang Gang, The Tattoo Souls, um, Mama Doing Fast K, Flame. I don't know, Flame, Flame is odd for me. I don't know if Flame falls in this new way school because, like, Flame has just rekindled his career. It's more like falling to this guys, but he was there with the eight races. So, yeah, man, you let me know in the comment section. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get right on to it. What happened to the boy Lucas Raps? You know what I'm saying? What happened? You know what I'm saying? The most promising. What really happened? Anyway, who is Lucas Raps? Lucas Raps is a youngin from Cape Town, born in Cape Town, raised in Durban. Uh, man, um, and my, he was once a, a prodigy of my poetry. So the good thing about Lucas, for him coming through his ranks for and during his blowing up and everything, he was never under anybody's shadow, whether Mabarisa or Nestesi, um, taking the fact that they all come from Durban. And I'm saying, usually when you come from a certain place, you're always under a nigga's shadow. And I'm saying, like the niggas from, uh, the former niggas from TWC, about words, the prince and the gang, they were always under the shadow. But this one came through and he did his thing and his own thing. You know what I'm saying? He's out here. And the achievements, his achievements, he's got crazy achievements, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lucas Rap set stages. In fact, he was called on stage by Nasty C back in 2016, and we know how Nasty C, how hard Nasty C was was back in 2016. Like he was going harder, you know what I'm saying? So we are being introduced to Lucas Raps at that moment, you know what I mean? And then Maporisa took him in, um, called him all the way from Durban after listening to some of his jams. Called Lucas, my boy, pull up, came through. Told with Maporisa and we know how Maporisa, how connected Maporisa is. So if you're under his wing, bro, it's inevitable for you to succeed. Know what I'm saying? So at this point, Lucas is poised for, 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 for stardom, for success. Because, you know what I'm saying? Under Maporisa, he goes on to win the Puma Put Me On competition. Because of his impeccable rapping skills. I mean, if you know Lucas, the freestyles, they go crazy on his IG lives, bro. Lucas is one of the few rappers that I know that can go off the dome. 
you know, doing the I'm tripping, flipping, scripting, the niggas is busy in the building. Like, it goes crazy. I know that was work, but we out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, Lucas has a top charting breakthrough song. What it is? What's up? <laughs> Can you keep on filling on my cup? Stop playing, bro, Ricky. I mean, bro, what else? The nigga is set a stage with Nasty. Got a song with Ricky. Um, he's under my parisa. Heck, he's coming through, bro. What a foundation. Created his own fame base. Every like during the COVID period, I think COVID going to 2021. Lucas was the name on everybody's lips, bro. At that time, Lucas introduces us to Blackie. Like, in fact, it was more like breaking bread because it introduces to Blackie, set a platform. He said his platform with Blackie. You know what I'm saying? No. Everybody's starting to get family over Blackie. I mean, he didn't have to do that. But because, I mean, he's showing like great friendship, loyalty, um, good Samaritan type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? So management deal with Block 18. One of the biggest companies, influencer uh, companies, it has top tier features. That song, Snoop Dogg. Make make some money or something i mean bro lucas was featured by snoop dog bro I mean, lucas is on a roll my nigga multiple hits without me mm -hmm. without me slippery slide 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 what it is what's up yang and the boy i'll be drinking and the boy man don't dead in your boys but a boom 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 like he's on a roll big time slapper with blackie i mean he was going crazy bro ammo yes sir T, he's got endorsement deals with x nova man fashion nova sprite you all remember what i said lucas was on the roll my nigga and then where did you all go wrong signing up with blog I'll, 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 I'll drop these things in no particular order you know what I'm saying? Signing that deal with Block 18. Block 18 is an agency for influencers. And you're a rapper. You're signing with an agency for influencers. And that at that moment, I said turn Lucas into more of an influencer than an actual rapper. If you ask me. Because Lucas was getting bigger. He was getting bigger and bigger on the socials. Bigger and bigger. Lucas is everywhere on the socials. But he's zip on the streets ain't dropping music lucas is out here everywhere doing his thing but where's the music because first and foremost you're an artist what does an artist do drops music you fill the streets with music that's what keeps you going that's the that's how you draw traction no taking pictures not being on ig acting all sexy and 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 and, and, and bougie no bro drop the music lucas apparently was denied a feature on yeah 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 yeah. The song by Blackie featuring STC. Nigga got bitter. What did he do in turn? Left Blackie off his album. And we know how much Blackie was coming through. Blackie was coming with the fire. In fact, Blackie is coming with the fire. We all know that Blackie is a cheat code in the game. You gotta have Blackie in the album. Everybody was looking forward to seeing Blackie in that album. That all through onto the world album. He was going to carry that, c carry that album. Number three. Blackie blowing up was a problem for Lucas. In as much as everybody's trying to um, uh, sideline that fact, trying to you know act like they ain't wanna uh, 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 recognize that shit. Blackie blew up in the cost of Lucas. How Lucas introduced us to Blackie. That was like Lil Wayne introducing us to Nicki Drake, um, Tiger. That cost Lil Wayne how because his fans he broke his fans into four pieces. Some fans were left with Wheezy, some fans went to Nikki, Drizzy, and Tiger. The, the, the fans had to be broken into two, some had to go with Blackie, and given that their type of music, their, their, their style of music was different, Blackie is more trap, melody, and anything, Lucas is more rapid, rap, go hard, bars on bars. Now, you've got a fan base, those that go with the mellow singing and anything, multi genre artists, who bend towards Blackie and the ones that love I'm, a, I'm in the building killer flows we killing these niggas 
left to locus right that's detriment bro that's killing like that's that's a cost to your career because you 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 cutting you splitting your fan base into half and your fan base is not so big that you can afford that right we go to number four lucas is always acting the victim bro the game hates me this and that complaining on a daily oh whatever them niggas hate me beef this 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 and that this and that bro Th that don't work the, the fact that it works on your first your first is warranted to do that shit why because his career kicked off attached to aka just like a racist career is attached to nasty you know what i'm saying so however nasty moves it's always gonna be a dub for race however aka moved was always gonna be a dub for for cast but you, you you your career is not attached to nobody you try to attach it to race failed try to go after nasty failed you know what i'm saying it don't work it don't work your stock is not a up in that in, in a nice percentage that you can be able to play that card lucas is cocky got a big ego and a foul mouth bro like his mouth run crazy bro lucas will say some dumbest thing bro for the sake of clout like he will say something that can bend bridges between him and his colleagues bro just for the fact of just appeasing the fans and anything at this at that point in which you 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 you're breaking you're burning bridges with people that can take your career to the highest like at some point i saw him on a live going after nasty with his manager ed or whoever that nigga is saying that um lucas can dust nasty at the end of the day you go after the same person and ask for a feature do you think that nigga will give you a feature while you're talking that crap no nigga so stop that thing and the reason why niggas is is is, is, is siding with black is because blakey comes through as a calm um humble dude let's get to work type of dude and lucas comes through as the and you are young in but you're coming through with the g ish like you're trying to be that guy and anything in the room no bro it don't work like that your stock is not high at that percentage of trying to be a g in a room you know what i mean yes sir he's lazy and overconfident <laughs> and that's that's an irony this this it's crazy to be lazy and overconfident and overconfident like it's one thing to be putting on work and be confident like oh, bro i'm putting work i'm the best rapper you know what i'm saying i mean my work is there to to prove what i said but lucas is lazy where's the music there was no build up to the album there was nothing but you're out here going like best rapper in the world um i can run around run circles around your 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 favorite rapper i can do this but where's the work my nigga where's the work there's nothing but you want to be on some let's talk and more work my nigga let's talk and more work you know what i'm saying bro stop with the <sighs> my boy is a serial cloud chaser as i mentioned bro like you can say the dumbest shit that can break um his relationship his chances with a lot of people just for the sake of just i'm saying my truth bro i mean like um i keep it a buck i'm an og like um i'm gonna say my truth your truth will hurt your career my nigga you're not at a point that you are at the at the at the, at the, at the liberty yes the liberty of being able to say yo oh, is at this present moment i'm sorry but you gotta kiss ass for for, for some doors to open for you and then when you get to the top and you know that you the ace and then you can say whatever you want stop that ace my nigga he's a super bragger and capper like at some point you say i bought a 40 million house uh i'm in the building we're doing big things and then only for people to expose him and say no bro he was lying that a house is still up for sale he doesn't own it and then if you're a liar like that bro how do you expect your fans to trust anything you say i mean next time you announce a feature with the dope artist nobody will gonna take you serious because you cap a lot the only thing that you gotta be with you as an artist you know that this goes out to all the artists be honest integrity goes a long way bro be honest with your people be transparent you know what i'm saying stop lying because every time people will take you for a loud mouth you know what i'm saying like a, a mouth runner instead of a person that drops facts right now he's going around in podcast saying that uh hey, i've got a i've got a a feature with guap guap whatever and empty and everybody but nobody's taking you serious because you cap a lot my boy you cap a lot stop that thing my boy
men and then you drop O3-1 to the world. It wasn't coercive. It sounded rushed. There was no build up to it. Um, no coercion, no storyline, leg substance, no emotional attachments. Um, like bro, that album sounds like a, a bunch of singles put together and just leveled album or the one to the world give it to the people sounds like his freestyles and freestyles with a with a hook like it didn't really invoke evoke something in people you know what i'm saying like bro lucas you've got so much potential my boy a great rapper you know with the right guardians with the right guidance um and 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 and, and, and humbleness and and listening to a lot of adverse you 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 can do a lot of things you can go crazy let the game school you learn from the ogs don't try to be an og before the status of og is given unto you anyway bro we're at the end of this video if you're seeing this bro please leave a comment and tell and leave some advice for lucas in the comment section what do you think lucas got it all wrong you know what i'm saying because the potential is there you can do big things bro Baby boy, let to GV, the ambassador, my little GV. Zer. I'm home, boys. Zer. We just did it, done it, clean it, we clean. I'm back home, boy.